Theory and Praxis by Melzai and Nanoark. Um, yeah, nice you're here. All creatures welcome. This is the motto with the Chaos Communication Club. And we actually want to gift those our basic ideas to newcomers and how can we and one of the questions um, the Hexen and the two word group asked themselves and that's how they created the welcome patterns and what's behind that Melsai and Nanook will tell you and Melsai is part of the Hexen group and part of Chaos Hamburg and Nanoak is from Tuart. Um, please welcome our speakers. <laughs> Moin, as we say. <laughs> oh, we, we still need <laughs> some picture. <laughs> It's his laptop. Mine doesn't like the display port. Okay, so what's... Ah, okay. Okay, this is uh, quite a complex uh, kind of people who are here. So we have an introduction slide. Um, so we want to introduce Tuwad and Hexen. And um, so you know why we are here together tonight. Hexen are a uh, decentralized chaos uh, meetup, meet um, which was founded 1989. We have 30 year um, celebration this year. Maybe you heard the choir yesterday. During the last years, we um, made ourselves known by beautiful postcards and stamps um, to introduce women in computer science uh, through podcasts and stamps and we have um, a nice fireplace <laughs> uh, which already wa went to camp and now there's also a library with feminist books and everyone is welcome and we are 300 people at the moment and we are growing and we are bigger than the CCH, the Hamburg Computer Club. And now you have to introduce Chaos Siegen. I have a slide for that. Okay, so we leave it with that. So then we have the two word group, education. The CCC thought about, like a few years ago, it started to think about how we can find together um, to meet for our common goals and do something together. And that's why we founded Two Word Group, um, which met the first time 2018. And this education group was, uh, by chance, had four Hexen. And they asked themselves, what kind of education do we have inside chaos? So are we only talking about uh, hacker ethics? Uh, uh, art and communication or something other, some other values. Does everyone here have the same values? Um, so we have some... Uh, do we all have the same access to the communication channels, to the external ones and the intern ones? Uh, are they dependent on background or gender or age or something else? So does everyone have access to the same channels? And then we looked at the way how groups are organized. Um, so we have to do a bit of, go a bit further. Uh, so here you can see there's a tendency at the moment. Uh, LALU has defined this uh, tendency. So one organization normally is not just one thing of those one group of those five, but probably a mixture of those five. Um, so, but you can say that there's some organizations that are really power oriented, like for example, mafia. Um, so who has the most power is, has the most rights and is right. And then there's traditional hierarchy. 
um, where you have ranks and then you do something, then you go up the ranks like military or church. There's then um, organizations um, which are success oriented like um, most companies nowadays. So um, if we have s some goal and um, so who manages in the successful um, goes up in a hierarchy. And then there is constants orientated, orientated organization. So families, good functioning families are communicating on one eye level and all sit around one table and try to find um, one common ground. And I mean, the re reality is sometimes different, but yeah. Um, and the final one, um, after Lalu, it's the, the one we should go for, um, and that's like the evolutionary organization, which has networks of hierarchies. So some people decide one thing, others other things, and then uh, one communicates together. And so um, in those organisms, there should also be um, taking care of each other and hearing everyone, introverted people, and yeah. Um, but there can also be phases. Groups are um, in at one point or another. So <laughs> here we have a bit strange image from Tuckman cycle. So um, we have the forming phase where people found a group and then they um, have conflicts and there's cliques and might be hidden conflicts, that's the storming phase. And then you have those conflicts breaking uh, like and you have to find strategies to find together again and that's the norming phase where you find each other and find your common goal and then you have the performing phase and you can reach a lot and then uh, and hopefully you only get to the adjoining phase when the group um, dispatches um, when the goal is reached but sometimes it happens when you cannot see each other anymore because you have so many conflicts but every time a new member of um, comes, you kind of start again, the group starts again with the forming phase a bit. Um, or not every time, but when a group, when some people come, uh, might be the new cliques and then there might be a new storming phase or old conflicts come back forward and or people don't like that new person so then you might go into the storming phase again. Uh, so on the one hand you can have those organization, those different groups of kinds of groups or these different phases of groups. Um, so sometimes it might be perfect, everyone is in a performing phase, everyone has the same goal and yeah. So but those are the theories and now we're talking about the CCC and some people looked at all the aspects of CCC and asked themselves where are we and so they came to the conclusion that all those different forms of organizations are represented in CCC. And that's kind of a quite um, gain some tension. So my some people are like, oh yeah, it's my family, the chaos and CCC as a fam family. So the consensus oriented organization is like the orga, the Congress organization, orga group. Um, so they might be in the local groups. They might be also this evolutionary. Like, but we also have CCC as a family and might be if you don't um, adhere to normal to rights, to introduction rights, then you might not actually get access to the CCC. And we also have the tradition, like the historic formula, um, formula who uh, makes is right. Uh, and then we also have like the thing, you can do anything, but please say before. So then people could actually say something and then we can 
we come and but sometimes we don't say you don't have to ask always prior because that makes it very makes much bureaucracy and takes time and but it's actually nice if things can be done first and just be done and things get done but sometimes as a newbie it's really difficult because you don't know in which situation do I have to do what and which rules are relevant for me and and then there's sometimes traditional hierarchies like CERT, uh, but in an emergency you actually want just something happening, uh, or like, but also you want people to follow the rules. So, but then there's also like really unofficial rules, like which hoodies do people have, which stickers do people have, and and then someone has like a really old CCC hoodie and and everyone follows the person's this person because they are obviously are kind of like the um, kind of more um, advanced more longer members and, but that doesn't have to be wrong but it kind of can create difficulties. And for example, there's like we, we all want chunk and we all want it to distribute it fast, and so that's like kind of successful or success oriented. But we also want everything to go smoothly. Um, yeah, so there's so many different things going on. So when we first talked about what the two word group could do, was um, we wanted to provide help how to integrate newbies more smoothly into um, AFAS and to give people um, patterns and handouts how to communicate well and how to communicate de these rules well and, and all these um, tension fields make it make the CCC function very well but we actually wanted to communicate those better and make them more transparent and we all have the same goals like politics and technic and uh, technic in general and, and uh, we want to keep those goals in mind because then we have might have the question oh yeah but the CCC is not political um, well um, so yeah we want actually to um, give newbies nice first experiences and nice experience afterwards so we have a nice um, person at our group who made these nice graphics. So here for the first visit. So there's the open door pattern first. So um, give person people the information that your door is open. So um, we had talks in Kaios Siegen and that's what we'll be taught later. But there's so many media about CCC and in FZ and Spiegel and, and all these people to hear about CCC, they, they don't feel comfortable just entering those clubs. They have to know first that our door is open to actually um, feel comfortable to come in and to communicate that is important and you have to learn that. So when the person came through the door, it might be important to ask the person, what's your name? What would you like to be called? Um, really professional is the question for pronouns because the gender is firstly maybe not relevant because we have the same goals, but might be nice and you can do that, yes. And then one of the classics is the greeting pattern and then a new person comes in and there's like several people in a black hoodie uh, with their uh, laptops and they look really busy and it's like black wall. And uh, maybe it might be useful. Uh, maybe someone you pointed out before and that person puts away the laptop and talks with that person. And maybe I just do that with a few sentences and then another person has 
to go, <laughs> kind of, and everyone can hide behind the notebooks at one point or another, but maybe everyone can talk to a new person as well. Or maybe you can figure it out talking to each other. So a new person doesn't actually have that wall of black persons with notebooks. And I know from a person who has been for two years going to a space and hasn't been talked to once. Uh, so it's important to talk about that and ref reflect about that. So there's also the response uh, box, so kind of and a guided tour, kind of like what's going on, where's what, what do we have here, maybe you have your own rooms, like what actually is the CCC, what's Congress, what other chaos events do we have, give people information and so they can actually get into CCC. Also important, sometimes you have to say stop. Um, sometimes you have people who have conspiracy theories and maybe such people you can't help. Um, you cannot kind of talk them out of those conspiracies. Maybe you can talk about something else, but maybe, but sometimes it doesn't really help. Then sometimes you have to, um, you, you also can't tell these people to leave if it's just not working at all. Um, when people have like really strong conspiracy theories in their head, uh, you, you actually, we, we think you actually can say stop if it's not working. Um, the same thing when people come with like a profit interest, uh, you see the seahorse <laughs> uh, that you get when, uh, like the seahorse you can get when uh, you learn swimming at least in Germany. Um, <laughs> so that's something like you can t teach the person uh, the skills to actually do what they want to do, but you don't have to do it for them if they actually want to just have you build something to sell. Uh, there's also the suing pattern, which is quite difficult in to teach people. Uh, it's important that we ha all have both um, technique and politics. Uh, we have digitalization with context. Um, digitalization without context is difficult. It's not possible. You have to talk about both to people. And if people are totally into hardware, it's totally okay. Everyone can have their strong point, but you have to talk about both things. And I think you can also teach people that in the yeah, first start. visit. Okay, so now you have done it. New person is here, they might have come in more often, so now it might be the second phase. But maybe there's something wrong, we have here the leaky um, sink, so then there's the next introduction. Um, so who has the server passwords, how do you get onto the intern mailing list, is there maybe an ISC channel, how do our decision uh, making process work? So that's the next step of integrating um, pattern. So for example, where's your membership application? So for example, in Hamburg, we have that online, the membership application. So next point, they are, have been here for several times, but they don't know how to take part. They don't feel comfortable coming to uh, group meetings or to um, give their opinion or to change things. I mean, of course, you like it when they ask prior to rebuilding everything, but if they don't feel comfortable to do anything, to touch anything, it's not their room. So you have to invite the people to actually do things and take part and maybe teach them the rules how to do that. Um, so now we're in the last round of the pattern, which is like the most challenging thing. So uh, one part is to actually take feedback from the people who came a few times. Um, yeah, f getting feedback isn't always the nicest thing to do because you could get critics that you don't actually like, but you can manage that, you can meditate that, and um, maybe critics are even constructive. They're, they can say, well, there are little things that could get better and I even can help you. And then you have the new person who actually has found an, something to do in the space and um, yeah, maybe there are people who 
already know about technology or politics and have foundations and then you can integrate them and work together and that would be super. Then we have the basic stop pattern. Some things are bad and um, then maybe you have to say no or stop. This has to be and this also is okay. Uh, in this th pattern also belongs the um, galactic pattern. The basic understanding of the CCC is that we are a galactic society and what that means is that we don't discriminate, we are not racist, etc, etc. And sometimes also we do it wrong. So we have to exercise to do it right. And um, luckily, there are forms um, how to do it without uh, screaming at the people. But um, in the end, yeah, we need uh, conflict workshops, etc., to get over that. And um, yeah, we have the integration pattern. We have rooms. We give them to other people. Uh, we don't know everything they do, and um, maybe. Uh, we also have to visit them if they don't visit us and we could talk together and maybe find connection points. And those are the patterns that are actually really simple. They are very concentrated. It's a very short introduction, uh, how to do it right. And um, here we have three examples from the chaos for two organization forms. And um, yeah, this for Chaos Siegen. One of the organization forms that I don't see in Chaos um, is the Hexen. We are decentral. We are around 300, uh, maybe 340 after the Congress. We uh, grew about with about 50 people. We have 12 um, main fields of um, fields where we do something. We call them hats and we actually ask people um, if they want to do something special and normally that works very well. From those uh, 300 people we don't uh, to make um, active hexen uh, who actually do something that's a very big challenge um, so we have meetings with the, the schedule and the themes are quite um, many and you actually can join the hexen if you had a talk with one hexer so this is actually this is complicated but we have to do it um, to actually know the people. Um, then we have the chaos, um, Hamburg. Uh, we have different things we do. We do parties, we do the co Congress, etc. Et and um, Chaos Siegen is a little different. That is done by Nanu. So, um, okay, we have a. Hello, my name is Nanu. I am since some time in the Chaos Siegen, and in practice, the welcome pattern looks like um, welcome. We say welcome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the people from Siegen know this um, very well. In the port, the ship is safe, but it wasn't built for that. And the hex space Siegen, uh, which is called Hasi, is um, like the port. Um, it has rooms. Um, there are other ports where you can go to make your own pro project or to recharge your batteries or something. Um, and we have edition 19, which is also part of us, the Café Planlos. Um, there's part of a uni, uh, a booknet theater, and those are all places where the people can work. We have different projects, um, ERFA, Chaos Computer Club Siegen, the C3, we are very fluffy. Um, we don't have our own rooms, we are like a ship and we go out and we search our own places and that's where we work and get strong. And then we go out again. In Siegen, um, the scene has more potential than for the people that we actually are. And the question that poses itself is how do we reach the people?
Mehr Leute, in dem Fall Bauleute. Okay, we need more people. Uh, we call them building people. Um, this is actually a passive sentence uh, because it wasn't built for that. And um, yeah, we have like a cycle. Um, it starts with chaos, then uh, we have arguments, then uh, it works if somebody actually. Uh, show strongness. Um, it's actually always the same people who um, do that. And we ask ourselves, how do we get better? How do we do things better? And yeah, this was our question. And then finally, the answer came through the Hexen. Um, and those were the welcome patterns. The welcome patterns in Siegen we use um, like this uh, yeah for the whole scene in Siegen um, I can talk much about that but um, we visit other groups that we want to network with and that we want to talk with um, and we use them a little differently in the praxis, practice but um, yeah, it's working. Uh, this time was the first time I actually saw a Hexe. I was really happy about that. Um, and we had got answers on very basic questions we had with this welcome pattern. And it was, what was missing to the newbies, um, which who we call noisies in Siegen? Uh, what the Hatsies, uh, so the people of the chaos computer block has and the answer is uh, the hodgepodge the hodgepodge is the entry into the cars like um, passwords mailing lists etc the whole thing that the chaos is active about and this is uh, yeah what headsies have and the question is how do the newbies get that so the first thing is uh, we invite them for eating or something some people want to go meet in the sauna that's not really our thing in Siegen but uh, yeah then we have different meetings like working meetings where we work together we have open meetings like Chaos macht Schule or anything like that and we take uh, you with us so um, are here any uh, newbies for the first time on the computer club oh three uh, yeah at least two no I see three so we have success welcome here uh, you are the puzzle piece that was missing to us um, the last wellness meeting we had uh, was uh, ho hopefully a big success, if not, you weren't here. So why do we need those patterns in Hazi? The Hazi was founded in 2012 as a hack space, not as chaos meeting and the people who founded it um, hope that if we are a hack space and not a chaos turf, we are even more welcoming. Um, we understand we are important and new and w the understanding of this sentence that we I always say with those ports and chips and builders um, is actually about rooms and spaces, um, broader spaces and having to do things so that uh, something happens. You can't just be entertained all the time. So how did we do that in Hasi? The CCC Siegen, uh, there it was easy. I said I'm from the Hexen um, and they said okay th so we do it. In the Hasi we did it in the lightning talks. I introduced uh, the project and the patterns. Um, there was a short discussion about 15 minutes and because they basically said okay we need new people for our new projects um, there was like a friendly death interest. So they actually worked again as they did before. Um, then we printed out the welcome patterns on colorful paper and that's the actual um, s situation now. Uh, I actually <laughs> understood wrong the welcome 
the welcome box, uh, we actually made boxes with buttons and stickers. So if you um, were in Siegen, did you become such a such a bag, such a wonder bag? Um, that is actually the only way to get away the stickers from a hex space to distribute them in such a way. So uh, in the end, I want to say, um, as next steps in the Hase for the welcome patrons, the graphics are important. So so if we had a poster and we put it in the Hazi um, with the welcome patrons, so those are our rules, and after which it works. And then people come and say, okay, now it's actually working, I want to learn how to program. Some people say, I'm doing that in my studies, I'm doing that at work, uh, things like that. But yeah, we need um, things to do for the newbies, um, like extra things where they can learn. Uh, we have the um, gates to Hazi because um, not the cool people are not all in the Hazi. We also get them at other places, um, for example, in the art space in Siegen. Um, and uh, also we send their people to um, improve their skills. But um, yeah, then they talk about the Hazi and uh, the people there are, oh, what is that? And then uh, we get into contact and then we can get them in. So what is missing to us is um, the feedback mode. Um, you can ask, uh, why didn't you say that in the meeting? Why didn't um, yeah, you do that in the consensus during the... Um, but uh, in the end, uh, we don't have a meeting anymore because our consensus is working so well that we actually don't need a meeting. And for new people, this is sometimes uh, irritating and for them we should create uh, new versions um, how to do that and um, if we I said to them if they want to change that they should ask for a meeting um, yeah that's our um, experiences from the praxis in Siegen um, actually there should be uh, another file but before we show that, we want to th say thank you to all people who work with us, um, people from different areas. Um, yeah, there are uh, special thanks to Mulana, who is uh, probably designing the poster. Um, hopefully, it will be done. Uh, then to the we want to thank the Tuat Group Bildung um, for education and we want to uh, thank Nanook from Chaos Siegen. The URL to the welcome patrons you can see on the file. It's Vicky Hazi um, at welcome patrons. And now we have our conclusion, which uh, will be shown for the rest. Um, the conclu we thought about what your values are actually to talk about that and what of that you want to give to the newbies. So if you um, actually formulate your values, those people, the newbies come back and then maybe they say, okay, um, I want to do that, I want to do that with you and um, then you may get them to get back. And if we are generating 100 hexen in a year, um, and we are just, uh, yeah, we are still exercising on integrating them and uh, generating new projects, etc. And it's it's really exciting. It's um, we get a lot out of it. Um, and you should reflect about that. And yeah, projects. Um, New projects are very important. And uh, yeah, we have now some time for a Q&A. Um, uh, thank you. Yeah, we still have the Q&A. <laughs> you can post question now. You can go to the microphones if you have any questions. But at first, I want to ask the internet. Use the time we still have. Mal hier an
then directly here at microphone one. Hello, thank you for this nice overview. Welcome patterns. I didn't hear that um, term yet. I will look at the website after to um, see that. Thank you for this resource. My question, how is that with people in Siegen who are coming new into the space? Um, if they are at the same time at different um, organizations, parties, etc., if they are organized there, do you have um, good or bad experience with that? Are there like energies or didn't that happen at all yet? Really nice question. <laughs> so that's something we experienced in the past. I'm hoping that when we have those welcome patterns viewable everywhere, newbies can see, oh yeah, they are thinking like that. I So I want to go there. And if they think differently than I do, then I might not want to be part of that group. Um, so we put... Uh, so with parties, um, we look for new rooms, and the uh, hack space in Siegen is not kind of the secret place, uh, because there were lots of people there. Uh, so we have Friday for Future and uh, uh, the party Die Partei and the uh, uh, Pirate Party. Um, so yeah, you might have we have to discuss those things and through time uh, whether people new people fit in with us or, uh, and, or also if they have like the capacity to um, integrate themselves and to have time to actually do something. Uh, sometimes we have people who have time to actually do stuff and yeah, but I think communication helps a lot with that. Yeah, use the mumble or the, the wellness meetup uh, to actually talk to people and yeah, might be. Yeah, as long as it's not in a sauna, I'm not talking in a sauna. Microphone number two. Uh, thanks for the nice presentation. Um, do you have special welcome patterns for young people and children who come to the hack spaces? Not yet, but maybe that's happening on the next two words, so <laughs> you can join. Uh, I'd like to cite Swart, uh, who said if you have um, minors, uh, you put them outside at uh, 10 o'clock because of right reasons, because of law reasons, uh, you might have to think about that, um, what you do with them. And maybe you shouldn't just put them out the door, but talk to the parents and um, yeah, ask the parents to bring them home or other people to drive them home and not just put them outside. Uh, some others have um, meetups at earlier times, like at 6 o'clock, 6 p.m. or something, and that's like a better time to actually come home. Um, so I like that, like, I think Göttingen has those earlier meetings, and yeah, I think that's <laughs> nice to integrate minors because then they actually have time to get home. Uh, from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Yeah. Okay, here another question from this internet. Are there other um, things to this process except from the pattern? How did you get uh, to this topic? Short answer, no. <laughs> we tried, um, especially also for this um, talk now to have an easy access um, to this topic for uh, knowing the vocabulary and so you can actually talk about it. Uh, some general standards which are um, known. Uh, so we use those to introduce those um, the vocabulary. Um, so if you think there's something like I, th I think that there's something I don't like here, then there's like the um, way to say it is like you have a way here and it might not be my way. Mm. Uh, you can <laughs> talk about your problems 
totally anonymously and we will not recognize which ja, space you're from. Also dann würde ich sagen, ihr könnt die beiden ja hier auch noch mal ansprechen. Die Hexen äh, habe ich auch schon gesehen in Hall 2, seid ihr glaube ich. Wo sitzt Carsten? Yeah, I would say you can talk with those two um, also. Um, I think you're in Hall 2 at um, Chaos Treff and you can talk to them if you want to give some feedback or want to tell anything. Um, this concludes the session. Thank you for listening. If you have feedback to the translators, treat it.